Bonjour, no YouTube. Hi there. Word up, geez. Trevor here, Summit or Nothing. And Nathan. Also Summit or Nothing. Today we're back up on Dartmoor again, on the South Moor, come to Harford. We're gonna have a look around. Yeah, just go for a wander. New area again, ticking off more squares on the G6 Bob, and us. Yeah, more G6 Bob. Got a new tent to try out, the nature hike that we were sent. Yeah, which obviously means, once again, it's a wild camp video. You know how you guys love that. Another point worth mentioning is that we have actually done our research and ensured that we're going to camp on a part of Dartmoor that you're allowed to wild camp on. Yes, we uh, got slap wrist last time, posted up on the Dartmoor page and lots of people making us uh, aware that we wasn't supposed to camp on Hound Tour. It's funny we should say that when there's a sign that says no camping or fires. No, there's an area here where we're not allowed to camp, but we're not camping we're here. We're not camping there. Another thing is uh, we got the drone. I was really excited about using the drone, but then uh, another one of our viewers pointed out that we we're not allowed to use drones on Dartmoor either, despite having seen drones being used. A bit disappointed, so we haven't bought the drone. We don't want to get slapped with a thousand pound fine, but we're hiking, we're camping. Doing what we do best. Yeah, doing it wrong. Tis what tis. Tis what tis. Tis what tis you. So, uh, yeah. If anyone would like to point out other things that we're doing wrong, I love that. It's become one of my favourite parts of Summit or Nothing. I don't know if you guys remember, but way back when me and Trevor were walking on Exmoor, but I was rambling on about the need for stoves and, well, I finally, got the final pieces for my new uh, sort of lightweight cook set that I've been uh, sort of getting together. I think it's a little BSR is it? Stove head that weighs like 25 grams and then um, lots of people have recommended Tokes titanium cook pots so I bought myself a Tokes 650 cook pot with lid which was very reasonably priced that fits a canister in it so uh, we're gonna have a little comparison or look see how that works so hopefully that will be fun. Not overly sold on the idea over the jet boil but when I weighed it all together it is 300 grams lighter than what I've been using before so a significant saving so let's find out if that weight saving is worth the extra aggro of not having the uh, more refined features of the jet boil. So we're heading up to Hangar Shell Rock on the South Moor already it's looking a bit more vast and uh, featureless than other parts of the moor no impressive tours surrounding us just lots of open moorland. Here we are now on this path. It's the Two Moors Way. So obviously it goes across Exmoor, Dartmoor, ends in Lynmouth. We're just walking across it. We're going to take in these rocks up here. Hangar Shell Rock. Up on me now. Bit blowy up here, maybe to test the tent, we should pitch it on top of this rock. Give it a battering. What's coming to go? 
Well, when we come to a distinct sort of right-hand curve in the track, we look due east. Then to the right of us is Western Beacons, and to the left of us is Butterden Hill. So we want to go up Western Beacons, which I think is this one in front of us here. Yeah. And then come back across Butter Hill. Okay. You might recall, Nath, that when we was up on uh, Ben Nevis, I wasn't that confident in View Ranger giving us the right mileage. Now, I noticed that one of the settings was set to read in miles and not kilometres, whereas we always used to read it in kilometres. So I've changed that setting back to see if that gives a more accurate response. Yeah, and what have you found? I don't know yet, until I can sort of look at the data. But I'm also wondering if it is this phone, because it is a cheaper model phone, whether the GPS on it isn't as accurate. It's just something I'm monitoring. Just thought I'd share that with you. Thanks, appreciate that. Oh, with them? Everyone, you and them. No, I felt like you were talking to them. F you, man. That's the king, Western Beacons, Butterland Hill. And we're gonna probably cut cross country up here to Western Beacons. And then we'll come across to Butterden Hill. It looked like there's a path kind of between the two. And then from there, we'll just our oyster. Right, mate. Some standing stones up here now, like markers, path markers. All those stones just in a big pile there. That's the thing with these druids, they never tidied up after themselves, did they? Oh, my friend. My friend. <laughs> Impersonal weirdo. So this is Western Beacons we're at now. The rolling hills of Devon, off in the distance. This is a nice view, isn't it? It is a nice view, isn't it? Got that doing that. Do you know what my find of the week was this week, Nath? You think? You know, like, Grey's snacks. You can get those Grey's snacks, which is like dried nuts and... Stuff like that. And they're like four quid for a tiny little pot. Yep. 60p in Lidl's, same thing. Alesto, spicy ones. I'm all about the spice. How does that make you feel? Indifferent. Yeah, I thought it might. <laughs> Well, View Ranger today at this point, saying we've done 10 kilometres walk, so whether that's right or not, I don't know. But it's drawn what appears to be a diagram of a lady's uterus. 